Hi, so in this video I'm going to set up an Ubuntu server and I'm going to connect to it through via SSH which is a command line shell and via the command line shell I'll be installing something called XRDP so I can remote desktop into the um, instance via a GUI just like I can Windows so I'm going to set up my Ubuntu server so I have the virtual machine here I selected Ubuntu server and I've configured it with uh, basically the defaults and I'm going to click OK here to start the creation process and my instance is called Crossbones so while it's doing that I'm going to go to one of my Windows servers on the same network and I'm going to download something called PuTTY so I can remote de uh, I could do a secure shell and connect to the instance once it's ready. So I'm going to bring up that terminal once I've extracted this into a folder. And my instance is called Crossbones. And let me check on its creation process here. Now if I go to VMs, it's finally running. That took about five minutes to provision. So I'm gonna go into my PuTTY now. So make sure to download this client, which is how you're gonna initially connect to the Ubuntu as it only exposes the SSH port at this current moment. So I'm gonna click open here and accept the RSA fingerprint and I put in my username and password that I created when I was creating my VM. Now at this point, this is the only access I have to my instance. So I will have to put XRDP on here, which is the X server for the Windows client or, or the X Windows client. So the command for that is actually the XRDP installer now I'm going to do this as the super user here so I'm going to use the sudo command apt-get install XRDP and this will take about 15 minutes to install so don't be alarmed as it's extracting all the packages. Now I'm going to pause here until this finishes. Now while it's installing XRDP in my remote shell, I will return to my Azure, click the Ubuntu VM, and set up the network the network group security. So I'm going to click on the interfaces. Click on the IP and you'll notice there's a network group security here. I'm going to click on it. And I am going to configure my inbound security rules. Now the rule I want to create is for the RDP. So I'm going to say default allow RDP and that is port 3389 and I'm going to click OK and as I'm doing that I will create an additional one default HTTP allow HTTP and that will be 1020 and I'm going to say OK so at this point I have my ports set up specifically I want the RDP port 3389 set up and I will add one additional one now this is simply for allowing 
the connections that I'll be setting up in, in case I am putting a web server on here. So I'm just putting these additional entries here to allow for those uh, ports to be open as I am installing the XRDP. So the XRDP is done. Now what I'm going to do is install a particular desktop and the desktop I'm uh, installing is called Lumbutu and you you will find all of this in the description area so you'll see my command is sudo app get install Lumbutu desktop and I'm installing that particular desktop because I know it works with the Azure XRD, uh, the X, the uh, RDP terminal client that I, I'm going to use. So you'll notice this will use, it says here, 1.15 gig. So this will take about 15 minutes to install. And while it's doing that, I'm going to pause here until it's finished. So while this is running, let me talk about the directions that I will be posting up on my description area. So I have the commands here, and you'll see the first thing I did was install the XRDP. The second thing I did was choose a particular desktop that I wanted to install. In this case, I chose Lumbutu. For the most part, I, I find that this first choice which is the preferred choice normally does not work when serving it up from Azure in the method that I'm trying to demonstrate here so I'm going to be demonstrating the Lumbutu so you will only have to choose one of these de desktops and in my case I chose the Lumbutu and I will the next thing I'll be doing is creating a configuration file for this and there's a stray character here which I'll have to remove but um, I will cut and paste this here and see the progress of so this will take about 15 minutes as you can see five minutes have already passed I'll uh, pause this once again and uh, wait until it's done okay it looks like it's done that took quite a bit of time I'm gonna go back to my cheat sheet here and now I'm gonna define the Ubuntu as my X window session and this is going to write the configuration file dot X session to my root directory or to my home directory so if I go to my home directory just to confirm dot X session you'll see it's there and now I just have to start the X server. So I'm going to go down to this command here and reset my X server. And after that, I'll be able to log in via RDP. So now I'm going to attempt to log into RDP. Keep in mind that I've already enabled my uh, port 3389, my RDP port. And you'll notice now it's connecting. So what it's done is it's installed the X desktop Lumbutu here, and you'll you'll notice that um, it installed a lot of tools here, including the Firefox browser. So what this does is it actually allows you to easily navigate, you know, just like uh, interacting with a GUI here and I have a software update so I'm gonna restart later but that's really it uh, so so this allows you to RDP in and now have a GUI to interact with if you want to do any installs especially downloading any software via the internet and via browser because that package does come with um, that does actually come with the Firefox and a lot of other tools that you see here including additional 
um, terminals and uh, text editors and other file management tools. So there you go. Uh, thank you for watching and I uh, hope this helps.